you know, the more that I watch videos on social media, you know, uh, the uh, Kobe case keeps coming up, keeps popping up. The more I try to shake it, the more things pop up, the more, and it's like, I can't resist the fact of finding out more or seeing what someone's side of the story is about this situation. I mean, it feels like I knew him personally. I mean, it feels like, you know, first off, let me say this. Kobe Bryant was a household brand. We seen him on our TVs, in our living rooms, We sat on the couch, we rooted him on, or booed him on, whichever it was, uh, as far as teams are concerned, you know, and we liked him, and we admired him as a player, But, but as time went on, we began to love him and adore him as a father figure, as a businessman, as an adult, as someone who was way ahead of his time. And he died way ahead of his time. And, you know, uh, Michelle just read something to me about when they found, when they found, when they found them, he was holding on to his daughter. Like they knew that they were going down. Now, granted, the helicopter's going down at two to 3,000 feet per second. And there's not much time to react at all. And I guess what bothers me is, even with airplanes, you know, you have time to... know what's going on you know you have a few more seconds of it's just hard to explain but he was with his daughter guys and it's like what can you do what can you say how can you react with someone that came from you someone that is protected by you and adored and loved and cherished by you knowing that there's nothing that you can do to protect them from what's coming and what's there already I mean even as he they went down his fatherly instincts kicked in and he embraced his child to protect her to the very last millisecond and to me that means more than any basketball championship any scoring title any business any shoe deal any promotion anything we lost not only a great athlete we lost a hero and a legend a hero on the court a hero to his family a hero to his daughter and a hero to us and 
Kobe Bryant would be greatly missed. As well as Gigi. And everyone else on board. My heart aches. I mean aches. And every time I think about it. I get upset. And. It's. It's hard for me to deal with. And, uh, I don't know, it's like I need therapy or something. Because this man, and none of those people, none of them, deserve to, to leave this world like that. But I know of Kobe. As I said, he was in our households. And that's why I feel so strongly because we'll all we have is memories. All we have is video. Rest in peace, my friend. And another thing I'd like to say, these videos of news, of the news and these uh, shows bringing up, you know, uh, relationships between his mom and, you know, uh, his past history, none of that matters. None of that matters at all. His relationship with his mother it was their business even though he's a celebrity it's between his mother and him his relationship with his wife and what was going on and what went on is between him and his wife even though he's a celebrity and I would ask respectfully if they would Please respect the man and leave him as a legend like he truly is. Until the next time, take care of yourself and each other.